Okay, so I've got this package arrived from Amazon in the UK here. Um, as you can kind of see from the title, it's the Star Wars Skywalker Trilogy box set, a special edition. Um, I don't know how different it is than the Best Buy one in the States or not. I think it's identical except for one kind of key point, which I think is that the Best Buy one in the States comes with digital media, whereas this one just comes with, I believe, uh, the Blu-ray and the DVDs. So there it is in the box, looks identical. Can't see any differences here at the moment. So if we can carefully get the plastic wrap off. And we're a bit funny about delivering this. Initially it was meant to be today, then they said it would be a week's time, then they said it would just be yesterday, but it didn't turn up. So it eventually arrived today on the 20th of April 2020. Perfect for some lockdown viewing. Uh, but you can see there's the box set. It kind of has this, I guess, kind of promotional card that comes over the top. Uh, I guess I'll have to keep that around with the original, but it kind of just falls off, which is a bit of a pain. It's got all the specs and everything on the back there. Nothing all that special. And then you have the box set. So uh, maybe a bit more fitting for a kind of like 2001 box set. It looks like the monolith, but uh, Star Wars it is. And I think if we just pull this open, it's like the US release. It just opens up, I think both ways, but then stops at a particular point. There we go. Just about fits in that camera view, that's handy. Uh, so yeah, there's two bits just kind of lift to the sides there, slide out. It's quite a thick card. It's not particularly well wrapped around some of these corners, so kind of be careful of scuffing it over time. And not let the kids anywhere near it. And then we have this material tab here presumably to lift the kind of booklet out. So there's the booklet. You can start to see all the discs. So I will move this out of view at the moment. Just close it up. Put that there. So the booklet. Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. It's kind of nice riveted effect. Again it's quite chunky. It's really got a very light scratch on the back there you can see. So it's going to mark relatively easily. There we have the kind of opening crawl a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Some nice artwork from Phantom Menace. I can actually see a bit of a crease there as well. It's not a great start. Uh, I love the Starfighter from Phantom Menace. Some of the nicest production art uh, from Doug Chang, who's still involved in a lot of this stuff. And so we have the 4K Ultra HD disc for Phantom Menace. I think that's what I'm going to be starting with this evening to watch. Oh, it's quite weird to get back in. It's quite stiff, kind of pop back in. I think they're inside only just wide enough to fit the disc in, so they kind of pop back in. Then we have the Blu-ray. And then we have Attack of the Clones. Almost my least favourite Star Wars film. I thought Phantom Menace was okay. Jake Lloyd is a bit annoying and Jar Jar less said the better, but Attack of the Clones was probably kind of the low point of the prequels for me. Far too much politics going on. There's the two discs for that. Revenge of the Sith, I think, started to get back on track. It was a bit darker. It was nice to see the kind of start of Darth Vader. There we can see Moody Anakin. And Christian Hadeson was better than Jake Lloyd, less whiny, but he was still an annoying teenager. There's 
they are nothing different here at all, exactly the same as the US box set. Look at that, Ralph Macquarie. Some great production art from obviously the best Star Wars film, A New Hope. Uh, really nice. Docking Bay and Millennium Falcon there. And the disc here it has the Obi-Wan Darth lightsaber scene on it. I was tempted to start watching 4, 5, 6, so I'm kind of watching it through. Um, I'm going to watch it with the girls as well. But I think I will actually watch it in story order. Some more Ralph Macquarie, the Cloud City there. Yeah, these discs are a bit pain to get in and out. I guess it means they won't fall out, which is nice. Nice attacks on Hoth there. Not really sure why they wanted to produce both the 4K and the Blu-ray. I mean, I could give the Blu-rays away, um, but then I'd be ruining the box set. I guess some people have a Blu-ray player in one place and a 4K in the other. But I would have thought actually the digital codes would make more sense. I don't have to try and rip them then if I want to play them on something that doesn't play back a, bo uh, a disc. Turn of the Jedi. Nice hand there in the York Village. And the droids coming out of the Jabba's Palace. Again, these are all identical, I think, to the uh, American box set. Then we've got The Force Awakens. I thought The Force Awakens was okay. It was a good fun action film. Um, repeated some things, obviously, from Star Wars, but then Return of the Jedi repeated lots as well, so I can't complain too much. It was a good introduction, I thought. Some nice concept art as well there. Right, maybe controversial and maybe my opinion will change in time. I thought The Last Jedi was the worst Star Wars film ever. Um, it just completely wiped out some of the things that started in Force Awakens, which was really annoying. It had parody in it, which Star Wars always has a bit of fun in it. It has a bit of a joke, but it just made some really stupid jokes. I think the one that nailed it for me was when you looked at um, a ship that you went, oh, that, that looks like an ship but maybe it's not a ship and then they panned out and it was a droid ironing and I just thought there's a whole industry parodying Star Wars we don't need Star Wars to be doing it the odd laugh is fine but it just was annoying I thought um, but lots of other people love it and think there's lots of depth to it so maybe my opinion will change in time but I think also completely kind of wasted uh, another Sith baddie and I think Phantom Menace wasted one of the best new baddies ever with Darth Maul and I think killing uh, the Sith Lord in this really quickly was really annoying as well. Uh, I've watched that quite a few times, I've got the 4K disc actually of that, that Last Jedi is the only one I've got the 4K disc of currently. Um, Rise of Skywalker I thought was a good end, much better than Last Jedi, um, had some great bits in it, I'm looking forward to watching it again. So uh, I'm, yeah, I am really looking forward to watching that at home, pumping up the sound, having the neighbours annoyed. There you go, that is all the films. Then we have some kind of uh, behind the scenes feature stuff. I love this pod race thing. Uh, I remember, I think it's Adam Savage from Tested talking about how they did some of this, but a lot of these pieces in here are just uh, Q-tips, like cotton sticks uh, painted for the crowd. And the pod race is probably one of my favourite Star Wars scenes, actually. Um, even though the rest of the film might not be great for Phantom Menace, that scene is awesome and has one of the best Star Wars computer games, the pod racing game. Uh, there's Anthony Daniels there. So these bonuses, I haven't really looked what's on them. I'm presuming they're lots of the things that I've already got on the Blu-rays, um, but I haven't had a good look through. Uh, but there's a bonus for Phantom Menace. Bonus for Attack of the Clones. I mean, there must be much more content than I've got here if these feel, I mean, they're, they're Blu-ray discs, not 4K discs, I presume. Um, so I'm looking forward to going some, through some of that. I do like behind the scenes, and I hope if they're really well edited, they should be really fun to watch, rather than just throwing loads of content in and not actually editing it down. 
Um, but here we have bonus for Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, I don't know how much of this is original new content and how much of it is just rehashed. A New Hope. So it'd be interesting to see. I deliberately kind of stayed away from finding out what's on them. And some of that model art, the stop motion animation is just brilliant. That's why it still looks good. Whereas some of that CG, especially the replacement ja Jabba, looks horrible. There's Empire Strikes Back. And Return of the Jedi specials. And there's good old George. Do I wish he'd made the kind of last three films? I think he'd have come up with more original stories for them, but I think he just had enough and didn't want to be battered by us fans anymore. So there we have Force Awakens specials. Be interesting to see. And Last Jedi, I guess I'm really interested in seeing this and seeing what was behind some of Ryan's choices because I just don't get some of them. Uh, that said, I think he's a great filmmaker. I mean, I've just seen um, his latest murder mystery, uh, the Knives film, whatever it's called, uh, and I thought it was really good. Knives Out. I thought it was a brilliant, short little kind of indie feeling film. And there's the Rise of Skywalker specials. I love some of that throne room fight in, in uh, Rise of the Skywalker, so I'm looking forward to watching that again. And here we have our somewhat strange paper personal letter from Mark Hamill. Um, it's really, I love the way Mark's still involved in the Star Wars community, but he's also not afraid to criticise it. So uh, his criticism of some of the new films is really interesting to see and see how Disney react to that. But there we go, that is everything all in one box. I am really looking forward to starting that this evening, starting with Phantom Menace. Um, if you've got any more questions that I haven't been able to show in here, just let me know. Um, but that is the box set. Uh, is it worth £180? That's what I paid for it. Uh, I actually pre-ordered it, so I got it cheaper than it is now. Um, it is because it's Star Wars for me. Whether you think it is, yes, I'd have loved the original films to be here without all the special edition. Um, I love loads of different things in here, but it, it is what it is, um, and it's 4K. I remember watching the Blu-rays and being astounded how clean uh, some of the film was and that, so I'm really looking forward to what extra detail we can get out of 4K. Um, I know the original films will have film grain and stuff, but, but um, I'm really hoping that these will be a step up from the Blu-rays. That's all for now.